Hey, hello everybody and welcome back. It is time for the Emotion Code Bros Show. And uh, both John and I are glad that you joined us today. Hello everybody, my name is Michael Loge. If you are a pet owner or know somebody that's the pet owner and maybe that pet is misbehaving or acting up or doing some really weird, funny stuff, share this with your friends right now. No, look at me right now because John and I and our special guests today are gonna show you how the Emotion Code will be helpful to help settle that pet. And yes, I am in a hotel room today in beautiful Vancouver, BC, exactly where John in Verarity is. John, good morning and welcome back. Hey, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Michael. Yeah, uh, welcome to Vancouver. It's a great day yesterday yes. to have you uh, yeah. around and in your company, yeah. And yeah. yeah, so we're looking for uh, a pet owner to um, speak us, speak up. Uh, yeah. Cat, dog, horse, bird, lizard. Something. Snake. We don't know what we're doing today. Do snakes have feelings. An animal. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a trapped emotion for a snake would be. I'm not sure what would a snake be. Anyway, I remember. I remember when I took the certification. I worked with cats, and all the cats had the trapped emotion of abandonment. So, there you go. Kitties don't like to leave their mother, I guess. Hey, if you're watching live and you have a pet that's a challenge pet or a problem pet or there's some kind of behavior and you need our help, just go in the chat room and say hello first. Let us know who you are. Let us know where you're watching from. And uh, we're going to select somebody today with our special guest. Today, we're going to talk about the seven keys to the motion code. And then our special guest is going to tell us about a motion code in animals and then we'll get started. But a couple of announcements. Well, I'm in Vancouver because yesterday I was the uh, guest train and sp trainer speaker at the Action Coast 2017 conference here in Vancouver. And John and Dan or I uh, were the dream team on the Hangout with Michael show. They were at, uh, at my uh, booth yesterday helping sell my books. And, and uh, we had lots of fun, took lots of pictures. If you want to see the first hour of the Razzle Dazzle Law of Attraction seminar that's called Michael Loge, it's on the fan page. It's pinned on the same fan page. It's pinned from yesterday. Get ready to take notes. It's about an hour long, giving you lots of great tools and tips. And if you're a conference leader or need a speaker or a trainer for a conference that can razzle dials and leave everybody breathless and their mind full of tools and processes they can use to have a rich, full, delicious life, dial 1-800-MICHAEL. No, don't dial that, but go to Michael Loshi Speaker and uh, we can help you out there. So John, you were present there yesterday, you and Dana at the back of the room watching all the fury and it was a, it was pretty exciting when I would say something like, okay, I'd like you to write this down. And then like all of a sudden everybody goes, all the heads go down. It's just like, just, they were so participatory yesterday. It was lots of fun. Yeah. Complete engagement. Yeah. hundred yeah. percent. It was amazing. It's fun to watch people yeah. uh, interact with their, each other, you know, around yes. the room. It was, yeah, it was a lot of fun. So John, people that are just joining us today, before we get started about the process, we're going to invite your our special guest on. But first, tell people what some of the shows that we did in the past, so they can, we, you know, we're not just doing pets, it's the first time. But John, what are some topics we covered in the past? Yeah, last week was uh, headaches. So we worked with Jeannie on her headache. Uh, so Jeannie, if you're, uh, if you're watching, it would be great to have an update. Uh, we worked with uh, little cranky pants, Elijah. Yeah. Uh, we did some food addictions, food cravings. Uh, yeah. Amy Chai uh, worked with Amy Chai uh, no more. It's Amy <laughs> Chai no more. <laughs> Sylvia Chips, yeah. Uh, Barb Toast and Jam. Natalie Skittles. Yeah. Um, Wendy Macaholic Williams. Yeah. So if you're joining us today with your pet, guess what? We will give your pet a new name just for the show. You can join us. And uh, we got a bunch of shows cooking for the future. We're going to tell you at the end of the show what next week's show is. My hunter, you want to send your husband to that one? Send your husband to the next week's call. Or it could be the wife, too. You never know. But you know what, John? Without even looking at who's chatting, who can you guess is saying hello today? And where are they from? Go ahead, please. Read my mind. Um, Sylvia Bellini. Yeah, Sylvia Bellini. Sylvia Bellini in the house. Uh, yeah. She's saying, hello, Michael and John, on my way home from a lovely day out from a lovely day in Henley on Thames. Sounds like a bar, Henley on Thames, but I bet it's this place. Our friend Natasha Paula Samuels, she's out, she's with us early today. She's saying hello to Michael and John, looking forward to the show, watching from a cloudy Romford, Essex. We are the weather boys here on <laughs> the Emotion Code Bros. Hey, and Natasha, boy, she knows how to serve us today. She gave us a hashtag emotion code bros. We're loving that. Who nice. else is saying hi, John? 
Uh, let's see. Uh, David Termini says, hello, Michael, saying hello from Sardinia. Sardinia, Italy. And uh, David, he is a law of attraction facilitator in Italy. And I've been there to visit him. And Sardinia is that little island off of Italy. Well, it's not a little island, but it's in the middle of the ocean. And I guess it is where the rich and the famous like to play. Jennifer Whitaker Burroughs. Is it her first time? Because I could, you know, I could welcome her to the Vibe is Right show. Okay, you Jennifer, should. if it's your first time, here's how we like to welcome new friends. Jennifer, you're on the Vibe is Right show. <clears throat> Come on down. Jennifer Whitaker Burroughs. And you know who gets chosen? People that have triple names. Oh, we have another one. We've got Sarah Sullivan Thompson. She's my friend from Connecticut and Jennifer's from Virginia Beach with kitty cat named Betty. I like, you know, when I'm doing my seminars, when I always use a woman as an example, her name's always Betty, because I like the name Betty. I like the two T's. Uh, my friend Alam, he's saying hello from, uh, to Michael and John. It was a great seminar yesterday. So uh, he is in Bangladesh. So that's pretty awesome that somebody in Bangladesh got to watch a live seminar in Vancouver, BC yesterday. Yeah, yeah. really cool. Absolutely. Yeah, pretty yeah. excited. So good stuff. A couple more, John, and then uh, we're going to introduce our special guest and your special friend. Absolutely, yeah. I notice we're not on the Hollywood Squares. We're not in Hollywood Squares? Absolutely. Not. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll say hello to Chris. Uh, Chris is um, Katnia. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Hello, Michael and John from Michigan and Mobile. So won't be able to watch long. Uh, rescued a golden retriever in 2008, and he's still having some separation anxiety. Oh, okay. Well, let's keep a note of that, John. John, I want to ask you to keep track of uh, who our special guest is going to work on today. So again, uh, we're looking for people that have a challenge, pet and challenge, as in some kind of misbehavior or something, whatever you call that. And mm -hmm. uh, we are going to select somebody today. Our special guest is going to look after that. So very excited that you have joined us live here today on the on the Bro Show. We're here every Saturday. Oops, no, we're not, John. We're not here every Saturday. So if somebody wants to keep track of us because we're on the road. So I don't think we're going to be here next Saturday, but we want to join you because we've got a special show coming up. So John, what should people do to make sure they can track our you know what's? You need to uh, sign up and uh, get notifications. So I'll just post a link here, and it is michaellosier.com forward slash emotion code. No, it's not. It's, I just posted with, it, though. Okay. It's hangoutwithmichael.com forward slash bros, B-R-O-S. You can sign on that list, and we'll let you know 30 minutes before we go live. Next week, we're doing a night edition. Uh, one of us is away next weekend, me. John, not me, John. And uh, so we're going to move it around a little bit. We want you to follow us. So let us know where you're doing that. Okay, John, we are having fun here on the Hangout with Mike. It's time for us to welcome our special guest today. And um, yeah, are, are we on Hollywood Square yet? No, we're not. Well, I'm not sure what's happening because I'm changing the option here. So we will just have to do what we do today. It looks like something's got changed. Anyway, welcome back, everybody. Today, we are uh, welcoming our special guest. You've heard us mention him before, Jim Inverarity. Welcome to the Hangout with the Bros show. Good morning, Michael. Good yes. morning, John. Yeah. So well, in addition, yes. in addition to being a bro, you're also a dad. That's so, right. Yeah, you're John's dad, so <laughs> it's nice. Now, I remember we had you on the Hangout with Michael show where we talked about limiting beliefs. So really, if uh, that was a really good show, and I've been quoting you ever since about that, you know, between the age of one and six. And then when I'm doing the emotion code, I'm uh, that's where I'm finding a lot of beliefs got formed. So it keeps um, uh, validating what you said and what I learned about beliefs. So thank you for joining us. Jim, tell us a, a bit about yourself and uh, you're going to help us explain the seven keys. So John and I are used to doing it by ourselves, but we're adding you to the mix today. So welcome and tell us about you, please. Yeah, uh, Jim Inverarity. I'm certified in both the emotion code and body code. I have my own practice called Good Life Energy Healing. And most people don't know this, but it was John that got me involved in this kind of work. So, okay. Uh, he came around uh, one day and said, uh, here, hey, Dad, I've got, some, I've got something I want to try. And uh, 
I had a sore shoulder, you know, bursitis in the shoulder. I'm not a golfer, but maybe that's what was holding me back. I've had it for years. It would come and go. It would interfere with me swimming laps and that kind of thing, trying to stay in shape. And John said, well, let's try this. And uh, after a few minutes of emotion code, um, my shoulder pain went away and uh, permanently. So I said to myself, hmm, I think this is I think this is something that I need to do, too. So that's how I got into it. Um, John has a brother, uh, Gordon, and at the time, Gordon was going through a really difficult time. He was uh, got cancer at an early, you know, in, in his 30s. And so the family got together, John and I, and, uh, and that was a difficult time for us. And we used the emotion code and body code to help us get through all that. The emotion yeah. code and body code are great for assisting people through times of illness. And of course, families, um, you know, what if somebody, when somebody's hurting in the family, everybody's affected by it. So right. I'm grateful for the day that John introduced me to this. And so I went on from there and got my own certification. And I work with people uh, every day uh, doing the same kinds of things that you and John do, clearing chronic pain, uh, emptying people's hurt locker, getting rid of, <laughs> getting rid of, of uh, heart walls. Uh, and that, you know, it's just a really great work to do. Good stuff. Well, I know you've been following us here on the show and uh, very proud of John for all of his accomplishments. And I am too. So thank you. Just a little sidebar yesterday. I'm, I'm going, to, I'm in Vancouver and I'm going, I go to dinner with five, there were six of us at the table. And one guy, somebody had brought up the emotion code and it doesn't take me much to want to talk about it, just so you know. Okay. So, and you can bet that I had a magnet in my back pocket and an emotion code chart on my phone. I'm ready all the time. So we go to the restaurant and talked about the motion code and everybody looked at one of the guys here and said, oh, you got to help him. He complains all the time. So this guy respectfully start to describe what was wrong with this and what was wrong with that. And this, this slipped here and all this medical stuff about the elbow. You know what I'm doing? I showed him, I'm going, la, 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 la. I don't need to have the story. I just need to know where the pain is. And then I thought, oh, that sounds pretty serious about everything. I said, maybe the emotion code can't help. Don't say anything. And then the other voice said, get the magnet. Get the magnet. <laughs> and the other voice said, you're at a restaurant, just settle down. And then before I know it, my hand's in my back pocket, pull out the magnet, and <laughs> so <laughs> the restaurant was really busy. IDC, I don't care. That's an ID, hashtag IDC, Miss D. Anderson, because I know you're watching, girl. I saw you come in. So IDC, I'm in a, a Vietnamese restaurant. I get out the magnet. I fixed this guy's shoulder in front of six people at the restaurant yesterday. And I'm, when I say fixed, I removed all the trapped emotions that were stopping the inflexibility and pain. And at his hap, when it happened, he, he went like this, and his face kind of turned red. He's like, and then people swear. I don't know if it's part of the process, but he starts swearing, not in a mean way, but holy, you know what? Holy, you know what? He's moving his elbow. And I did that in under four minutes at a busy restaurant in downtown Vancouver with my magnet. Nice. And what is it? It is called the emotion code process. And uh, we're emotion code practitioners. We help people with many things. That's why we do the emotion code show. So, John, let's say hello to some friends. And we're going to start the seven keys. And I think we found somebody here, our friend Leslie Marshall. If you haven't read that already, uh, you might want to consider picking her. But first, let me know who's saying what. And then we're going to do our seven keys delivery. <laughs> Leslie says hello from Oregon. Me and Buddha, the love pug, are looking forward to the show. <laughs> Buddha. She said, hey, Buddha. Yeah, she, well, she lets it hit Sarah. She says, my dog needs your help. He has an itchy, scratchy problem. I've spent hundreds at the vet office. I tried different shampoos and food and nothing helps. I'm wondering if it's emotional problems. Help, H-E-L-P, like it's written on the beach, help. <laughs> so that's Leslie Marshall. It sounds like it's a severity of 10 if she's spending hundreds of dollars on at the vet's office in shampoo. Hashtag vets won't like us. So we might come back to you. What do you think, John? And yeah, we're gonna work yeah. with, uh, what's the dog's name? Did you get it? Buddha. Buddha. So, uh, uh, Jim, if you can write that down, it's Buddha. The mother's name is Leslie. And it's uh, itchy, scratchy problem. 
Do you need to know more about that, Jim, while we're collecting info? No, that's good. Okay, thank you. Uh, Chris Cutania, hello, Michael and John. I'm from Michigan and mobile, so we won't be able to watch. Oh, you think you read this one. I'm gonna like that one. Thank you. She rested a golden retriever, we love that. Hashtag Misty Alaska Anderson. I have a problem fur child. He whines so much in the car, he whines, he barks if allowed, nonstop riding cars. He barks for almost 200 miles when in the back of the truck. Really? Hashtag Misty's got a lot of patience. <laughs> <laughs> so it just occurred to me, I'd like to know if Buddha is a rescue pet. Okay, good stuff. Leslie will let us know. Diane Marie Barnella. Hello, bros from North Carolina. My dog, Missy, is here too. Hey, Missy, good morning. Delilah, good morning, all from Charlotte. I'm so excited to see this episode. And John, if there's anything else, let us know. Yeah, Kathleen Parsons. Hello, guys. I've been waiting all week for this. Nice. Uh, Barb, Roxy, and uh, Super Cat, uh, and I are here. Yeah, Barb and Roxy, the Super Cat. Nice. <laughs> Kelly Carson, good morning from the Sunshine Coast here in British Columbia. Good morning, uh, Kelly. Jennifer Whitaker Burroughs is saying hello. Our friend Doug Collins from Moncton, New Brunswick. Hashtag I don't no. Hashtag IDC. Hey Doug. Um, because he's Canadian, I'm going to tell a Canadian story. So there is a restaurant in Victoria called Cora's, and it's a, a national chain across Canada. It's a beautiful, healthy restaurant, and it's quite famous in its own right. So I live about a block away from Cora's restaurant. So I've been going there to meet people, and they want to meet me or my friends. And you know what's in the back pocket? Say it when you know it. The magnet. I go to breakfast restaurant, Cora's with my magnet. So I've done a lot of emotion code sessions at Cora's restaurant. So... Again, hashtag IDC. Okay, two or three more, John, and then we're going to get started. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Leslie says, yes, it's a 10. You'll scratch till he bleeds. You have my permission. Ouch. Um, Leslie says, I rescued him from my daughter who is keeping him in a cage. Okay. Well, good. I think we got enough to get started before our session. There's lots of people saying hello. We're going to get to all of you hopefully today. But first, it is time for us to describe the seven keys to the emotion code process. First, uh, it's time to acknowledge the founder of the process and our friend, Dr. Bradley Nelson. Who, Dr. Uh, Brad. Yeah, yeah tell wrote us about the that, book. John. Wrote the book called The Emotion Code and developed the program, the process. And we absolutely love Dr. Bradley Nelson. Yeah. And uh, he runs a certified uh, emotion code practitioner program. And uh, we've all studied that and learned it. And we are part of the team helping to spread the word. And hey, by the way, if, um, if you're watching and you're part of the emotion code Facebook group, hashtag Misty Anderson, uh, maybe you can share today's show inside there because we'd like to show other practitioners what you can be doing to help spread the word because when people learn this, now they're challenged to how to explain it to people. So instead of going to people on the street like I do, hashtag 7-Eleven, hashtag chorus, hashtag Vietnamese restaurant, wouldn't it be nice if people could just find you when they're looking? So uh, if, again, you're part of that Facebook group for the Emotion, uh, Emotion Code Heals the World, we'd love for you to share the show today for us. Okay, so that's our shout out, John. We are going to start with uh, Jim and I are going to. So, John, go ahead. Please start the program. So, key number one is the emotion, the code, emotion chart. code chart. Well, Jim has one in front of him and he has one behind him, and I've got one in my wallet. Okay. And the emotion code chart, is, as you can see, it's got a lot of emotions on it. They're negative trapped emotions. There's 60 of them on the chart. And the chart is designed in two rows. That's just for us so we can get to the, the, real, fa the, the real critical one fast. And um, John, we're talking about, well, I'm going to ask Jim this question. Jim, we're talking about negative trapped emotions. So where does that term come from? So what, where, what is a negative trapped emotion? Well, a negative trapped emotion is an emotion that wasn't properly processed at the time you were feeling it. Um, there's 60 trapped emotions on Dr. Brad's chart. And one way to describe them is that they're low vibrational energy. And so you trap them when you didn't, pro when you felt it at the time, you didn't properly process it. And the reason for that is because when we're little, we're not trained to, to properly 
can uh, process trapped emotions and then process their emotions when we're feeling them. And what happens uh, invariably is that instead of processing them properly, we trap them. Yeah. So the energy gets trapped in a little ball somewhere in your body. Yeah. Even if we think we, we think it's like, oh no, I'm over that. Oh, I healed from that. Well, no, you didn't. There's probably a trapped emotion inside. Okay, that's the thing. Very key. It's Dr. Bradley's chart, the trapped emotion. It is our tool to help identify what the trapped emotion is that you got. Next, John. Key number two is muscle testing. Okay, now I'll, I'll, Jim and I can both take that. Now muscle testing in my head is an agreement that I have with my body to help me answer questions, but there's a, a, only a specific kind of question it could uh, answer. And John, what's that question? What kind of question can it answer? Is it a yes or a no yes. type question? You know, everything you ever experienced, everything you touched and tasted and smelled and heard and experienced is stored somewhere, well not somewhere, it's in your subconscious mind. And of course you don't access it all the time and it's there, it's like a big library and we can access it. We can go back to any experience, including uh, subconscious mind. Do you know what these trapped emotions are that are causing this problem? It'll say yes, but we wanna find out, we want a yes or no. We don't want a little whisper say yes, that's right. And we don't want a little tingle to say, we want something solid. So we're using a form of kinesiology, muscle testing, and the intention is to slide through here. And if I slide, that's a no, and this is a yes. So that's my agreement. If I ask the question and the answer is yes, tell me. If it, am I Michael? Yes. Am I John? See how it slips through. Uh, John does it a different way. Jim, what's your style of muscle testing? I use what's called the um, hand solo method. So this is this is my arm and this is the finger that pushes it. So I just go like that. That's a no. This is a yes. I can't bend my finger. That's a yes. So that wow. I just use one hand. Yeah. It's uh, some people find it kind of difficult to use. Other people use it and find that there's too much pressure on those two fingers. So they switch to a different different method and it's good to have more than one method but that's the method i use because i like to have my other hand free to make notes um, wow imagine if you could do that hey michael i need a couple things you know because i because i i don't stop i don't test i just run the motor all the time right now i run the motor and i don't i don't start my engines to i don't say okay here's a question then to i'm i'm pumping it all the time i'm just give me a question i can take it on sometimes my arm gets sore but you know what i really need hashtag inventor i need a magnet on a little helicopter on the top of my head just go because this is the hard part oh poor me i'm not you know poor poor laborer michael loge has to move his arm but you know what sometimes i'm doing this 500 times a day so I got great right, right arm muscles. Okay, step key number three, John. Uh, I have permission. We have permission. That's right. Yes. Like yesterday in the restaurant, everybody wanted me to fix Buddy's shoulder and arm. Well, they're not in charge of his arm. He is. So, uh, you know, and I'm, I'm pumping. I'm pumping. And my dog, and my dog, as soon as he said yes, it stopped. So it went. So that's, you know, that's why I like the pumping method. And then, boy, we got connected, but he had to give me permission. What else, John? So how did you connect with him? Well, I became his proxy. You know how when people vote on your behalf, they can sign your voting papers, that's your proxy? So through muscle testing with intention and permission, if you imagine we're all connected like a little thread, you're saying, yes, you can connect to my subconscious mind. And that is what we do as practitioners called distance healing. Even though Buddy sat across me at the restaurant, were we at a distance? You bet, yep. right? And whether it was my client from uh, Africa or Malaysia, they were still at a distance. So distance could be a foot away or miles away. And uh, the practitioner then becomes, so then I would say, okay, I'm reading that person's up. Am I Michael? No. Nope. And that's how, again, the muscle testing. Okay, next key. Severity on a scale of okay. one to 10. Now, Jim, why do we need to know that? Or do we need to know it or is it helpful? What is your opinion about that? Well, I always ask that because I like to know. Um, it gives me an indication of what the book, you know, what the complexity might be. Yeah. But it also is great to measure before and after. So you can, it's an instant result test. I can start out with something that's a nine out of ten, and by the end of the session, if I'm down to a two, then I know, you know, where we're at in the process. But we don't really need to know it, but it's good to know. Well, we definitely have different motivations for the severity. I like to show off. 
I like to say, oh, your arm is in pain to a 10, and I, and now it's a zero. I'm sorry, what's the new number? Thank you. Because some people forget. So I'm doing it for the, uh, the impact to say, look what we did. We went from a pain from, like last week, our headache, for migraine headache, I think she was a 10, and John got her down to a one on live Facebook, down to a six. She was started okay. at a six. Oh, she started at a six. Okay. Go ahead, John. What's next? Well, what do you carry around in your back pocket? That old magnet. Now, the reason why we use a magnet, because the magnet is stronger than the trapped emotion. And if I don't delete the emotion when I identify it from you, I could absorb that. And I've done that before live in a seminar at the front of the room. I didn't have my magnet and I bought my eyes like the, like the ugly Oprah crying, you know, the one on TV, because I didn't. So then my assistant's running in her purse looking for a magnet. But by the time I got it, it was like I was a mess. But that's what happens if you don't. Uh, no, sorry, that's not what happens. It can happen if you take on the emotion. And I remember the emotion that I uncovered. This guy was humiliation. And as soon as, because that's the hot box, Misty. No, Hashtag not. Misty. <laughs> Are they all hot boxes? Yeah, they are. Okay, John, go ahead. We're wrapping this up. What else? Uh, hashtag Misty is out of patience. And the last key is... Yeah, so I'm trusting Jim's got a, some water in front of him. There you go, Jim. So, And uh, Jim, tell us about the water and why we, a practitioner needs so much water. Well, the body's 90% water, 80 or 90% water. So there's an energy moving around inside you when you're doing this kind of work, not just the practitioner, but the person you're working on. And water is like oil in a car's engine for us. It keeps the energy moving around and it stops you from getting tired. People will lose their, in a, their ability to muscle test if they're dehydrated. So, you know, it's very important that the practitioner and the person you're working on are hydrated. Okay, good stuff. Are they my three books behind you, Jim? I'd be remiss if I didn't notice them. <laughs> yes. How's oh, really? that for staging a house? <laughs> Thank you. We love that. Well, you know what? It would tell the people the vibe in the house, though, wouldn't it? This, ooh, I like the vibe in here. John, I think that's it. That's wrapping up our seven keys. Seems pretty simple, doesn't it? Good. So why don't you uh, queue up Jim and talk about uh, what we do next to so Jim can start his session. Go ahead. Yeah, so we're working with Buddha today, the itchy pug. Uh, so <laughs> Leslie has joined us. Buddha has joined us to so put a little dish of water out for Buddha. And um, yeah, we have full permission. So, Dad, why don't you just connect up with Buddha? OK, I'm connected. <laughs> I'm working on Buddha, um, the pug. Leslie's given me permission in a, a Facebook here, um, and I'm getting that it's a nine out of ten. Ooh, so, a... yeah, so the itching uh, till it bleeds is uh, pretty serious. So, so <clears throat> I'm just going to briefly talk about energy here. So we've all talked about, we've all seen pictures like this where you have seven chakras in the human body. Yep. The people that asked me to work on their pets are clients of mine who I worked on them and they said, okay, I trust you. I want you to work on my pet. So here's what the chakras in a pet look like. Oh, that's cute. Put it up a little closer first. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so you'll notice that instead of seven, seven chakras, there are eight in pets. You can see a black dot up on the top of the dog's shoulders. Yeah, we can see that. Okay. Okay. So that's the eighth chakra. It's called the brachial chakra. And all the reason I'm showing that is to say the same energy fields that are in human beings are in all living things. And horses, dogs, cats, or bunny rabbits, they all have this chakra energy. And so, um, so I'm conscious of that when I'm when I'm working on people's pets. I know there's a connection. What do chakras do in pets? What are the same thing they do in people? They keep us attuned to our environment and the people in those those in, in their environment. So your dog pet or cat is very uh, attuned to you as a person. And people that have pets know that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it could be an imbalance in the chakra, but it, 
you know, energy work is such that it could be anything, right? Anything can cause anything. So we can just go ahead and work on Buddha. I just didn't just mention the shockers just to, so you know yeah. about them. Yeah, well, All you right. know, pet owners love their babies and their pets. So what you're saying is very important for them to know it's about energy. They know that already, right? They're just trying to convince yeah. the rest of the world. So continue on there, Jim. And if you don't okay, mind, so John gonna... and I, yeah, you can announce a couple of the first ones, and then John and I are gonna acknowledge some of our callers, but we'd like to hear you okay. do a couple of processes. Go ahead. Okay, um, my name is Buddha. Yes, do I have a connection with Buddha? Yes. Is it in Buddha's best interest to conduct this session? Yes. So when did this itching first start? At what age? I don't know how old Buddha is, but age three. Is that when it first started? Yes. Okay, so do you have trapped emotions that are uh, the cause of this itching? Yes. So what's the first one? Is it in column B? No, is it in an even row? No. Five. Five is the hot box, as John calls it. That's the hot box. It's not the official one. No, the Fear. official one is A4. <laughs> Anger, bitter guilt, hatred, resentment. Those are the hot emotions. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So blaming, dread, fear, horror, and peeved are uh, pretty close to hot box issues. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. So is there an underlying cause to this fear? Is there anything else we need to know about fear? No. Is there something that needs to be released first? No. So we're just going to go and get rid of fear. Here's my magnet. Get rid of this fear. Is that what made your head so shiny? Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you think I've magnet been rubbing a magnet over it for centuries, but <laughs> have we successfully released fear? Okay. So what's the next one? Is there another one that's related to this itching? Yes. Well, Misty is hot this morning with her hashtags. I think she's got it on her keyboard. Listen to this. Well, she's grateful for Dr. Brad too. Hashtag Misty is out of patience. Hashtag vets won't like us. Hashtag get the magnet. She's welcoming our friend Jim. She's giving us a hashtag bros. She's saying good morning. Whoo hoo, so much fun. Delilah says good morning uh, yeah. from Charlotte. So excited to see this episode. Yes. Delilah Cordova. You know, if you do have a pet and you're watching uh, the the magic that's happening here, we're going to get an update around the, uh, the pet, uh, hopefully before next week's show or maybe even today. Uh, make sure you write Jim, Jim's um, website address. It's www.goodlifeenergyhealing because pet owners know pet owners. So if you don't want to spend hundreds and hundreds on the vets and other pills, you could really reduce your costs and the time and travel and get it done from the comfort of your home right now like our pug's getting done. Sophie uh, Giroux is watching from Montreal. Uh, bonjour, Sophie. Uh, Kathleen Parsons, I've been waiting for this all week. We've been waiting for you all week, Kathleen, so thanks for joining us. Uh, Caroline Carruthers, hey, dudes. Caroline, Caroline Carruthers has been on vacation. She's back. Well, it doesn't mean she's back, but she's watching. Hey, Caroline. Carolyn Linder Trussell, Crossell, good morning. Uh, Roxana Papat, good morning from Romania. Dr. I love that name, our, our friend Papat. <laughs> Elaine Goodman, hello, Michael, John, and uh, Jim. You know who that, you know, this is Elaine Diet Coke. Well, Elaine used to Diet Coke. We helped Elaine on a previous episode get rid of Diet Coke, so yeah. that's in her past now. Elaine Diet Coke, yeah. <laughs> Jim, do you want to come back to us and give us a chat? Tell us what's cooking. Uh, just give me one second here. I got to re release this next trapped emotion. Okay. Uh, our friend uh, Matthew Cohen uh, is uh, gave us a heart and a little love sign. So thank you. Here's the other people that are acknowledging us with hearts and thumbs up and happy faces. Well, Misty Anderson, she was in the house first. Caroline, Heather Fisher from New Brunswick. Matthew is saying hello. Mary Lou, Pamela, Mike Wimbish is saying. Gudrun, Delilah, Elaine, Sarah, Irene, Alam, Sarah Vanna, Sarah Vanna, I like that, Sarah Vanna, Sarah Vanna Nan, uh, and my friend David and Chevy uh, is joining us, Chevy Chirou, so thank Thanks you. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Yeah, it's lots of fun. Okay, so um, I'm working on Buddha here, who's got an itching problem. It was a 9 out of 10. 
I've released fear, shame, horror, jealousy, and guilt, and I've got them down to a seven. And I'm just going to carry on here. The next one is the emotion of forlorn. So that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Now, forlorn is an interesting one for me because when I was doing the emotion code session the first few times, the word forlorn came up, and I was too embarrassed to say I didn't know what I meant. I think it's a very, I think it's a very British term. We don't really say it here, but I can imagine Sylvia Bellini with her hand on her shoulder, thinking, "Oh." in her Victorian dress, saying that she's <laughs> so long. So, uh, That's what that head, emotion is. Yeah, it's like extreme sadness or something. So, Sylvie Bellini, you can put your, your um, Victorian outfit on with your big Easter bonnet, put your hand on your shoulder and give us a forlorn. <laughs> oh, the show. Irene Oli is watching from Calgary. Hey, Calgary, Irene, good morning. <clears throat> Our friend Heather's driving to Labrador from New Brunswick with her cat. Uh, she said uh, Stacy could have used no Stacy, her husband could have used this before he drove to Labrador with the K for or the cat for two days. She yanked the entire night. Yanged. Oh, hashtag Heather typos. She yanked the entire right. She was so stressed out. Okay, I think she, I think she yelled the entire night. No, I'd love uh, to tell you about Tinto, the horse. Oh, go, hashtag go ahead. Tinto is a horse. I worked with this horse uh, a couple of years ago, and I was on my couch in my living room, and Tinto was on the farm somewhere, and it was it was not looking good. It was not even walking. It was lying in the barn, infection in, the, in its knee, and they, uh, the owner is a vet, and so she did everything she can, brought in other doctors and vets and everything for this this horse and nothing, absolutely. So I said, hey, I'll work on Tinto, give it a try. And it was actually, I remember this, it was a shocker that came up in the horse. And so I worked on clearing trapped emotions from the chakra. And the next day it was up on all fours, drinking lots of water and the, this infection, it was abscessed. It started, it like cleared up overnight basically and it was gone. And uh, so awesome for Tinto. Yeah, yeah. that was Hashtag really cool to see that. Years. Yeah. Well, we have a lot of new uh, watchers watching us today, John. And I'm, my hunch is that some of their pet owner friends told them to watch us today. So we want, we appreciate everybody that's giving us a shout out and letting their friends know. Now, John, we've already got next week's show lined up. So before we check in with Jim again, what uh, what are we doing next week? And uh, who might be of interest to join us next week? Snoring. We're working on uh, snoring. So if you or someone you know, maybe your partner, keeps you up all night sawing logs, uh, we want to work on you and help you. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you've had some success with uh a snorer. Well, I'm working with snorer. somebody now with snoring, and I worked with a woman that was a snorer. So we're we're not going to be a snorist. Uh, we're not going to be snorist here. It could be men or women. So, but yeah. you know what? If you're single and you're a snorer, it's hard to know if uh, you've had any uh, changes in your snoring behavior. <laughs> Sylvie Bellina gave us a hashtag: forlorn no more. <laughs> Nice. Hey, I want to do a quick little shout out. Next week, I'm starting my 10 session program. It is designed for people that uh, want to reduce their body weight and change their eating habits. It, we meet for 10 sessions, and each session you'll get five emotion code sessions, all strategically designed so you can reduce your body weight and change your eating habits and so on. It has a 100 money percent back guarantee. You can go to hangoutwithmichael.com forward slash weight loss. I put 20 people through the process so far hashtag sorry mcdonald's hashtag sorry starbucks, starbucks double double tall yeah hashtag all those places that people aren't eating anymore so uh, yeah, the, so the craft, uh, macaroni yeah. and cheese sorry craft yeah. sorry craft <laughs> sorry sorry dairy queen sorry starbucks I got one woman, the whole showcase, like the whole start, you know, I did that too. I used to, I used to go to Starbucks and I used to eat food out of the showcase. So then I, I emotion code two or three items and I thought, you know what, let's do the showcase. So I don't even think Starbucks has showcases anymore. They don't when I go in, you know, I used to buy food and the showcase. So I got rid of the whole showcase 
at Starbucks. Uh, so my program, it's, um, it runs for 10 days, not 10 days in a row, but we do it like in two and a half weeks. We meet every day, seven people are in the class. You'll come in, you'll get five emotion coach sessions. It's the most economical way. I promise you, you'll save more money in the food than it's gonna cost you to take this program. If you've been watching the show, you know we're eliminating people's food, not cutting it back, hashtag Diane Cheese Whiz. We're getting rid of people's food. So you can go to hang out with michael.com uh, weight loss and uh, you can see both john and uh, jim's um, website address below them we have different styles and different energies and uh, you know we'd like to consider you uh, sharing jim's information with um, uh, your pet owner friends because we know you're spending a lot of money on your pets right because sometimes it takes a lot of time to diagnose what it is and my hunch is jim could let you know really quickly how he can help you with the pet's problem. If your pet has a broken leg, take it to the vet. If it has what we're doing today, something that's you know, behavior or scratchy or itchy, then that might be something that, um, uh, if it's scratchy and itchy, that might be something that Jim can help us with, so. Okay, okay. we have and Andre Armani, he is saying hello to us. Uh, good, go ahead, Jim, do you have an update for us? Yeah, I, uh, I released everything that uh, surfaced during this session. We started out at a 9 out of 10. According to my muscle testing, we're down at zero. So relating specifically to the, the issue of itchy, uh, really strong itching, itching till it bleeds. Um, so uh, as far as I'm concerned, all of the trapped emotions that were contributing to this itching are gone. I'm just going to ask if there's anything left in that might be in the body code that needs to be looked at. Yeah, so next week we're working on snoring. No. Uh, okay, well, so that, should, that should be it. I'm just going to disconnect. Nice. Now, okay, Jim, so I've disconnected. Yeah, well, Jim, Good we've had a soon. lot of. Yeah. Sorry. We've had a lot of people watching today's show. So after the show, I want you to go out and uh, give people your information and the woman's whose pet you just worked on, maybe send her a private message so she can give you an update today. She might even, the dog might be rolling on his back right now. <laughs> That's like hug on his back, right? So well, we he to, might be pretty, so. he might be pretty tired. I released um, 15 trapped emotions. Wow. Yeah. That, that is one of the borrowed benefits of doing having an emotion coach session. Well, I don't know if it's a benefit or not. If you're not a good sleeper, well, we can we can help that too. But uh, most people that have an emotion coach session like to take a nap. So if you're not used to taking the naps, you can say bye bye to that. You might need a nap. So maybe the pug's on his back napping right now, but we'll get an update for sure. Jim, thank you very much for hanging out with us and doing that emotion coach session. That was awesome. And um, can you tell people? maybe you know the, the kind of session they can expect with you like you know you did something here in 15 minutes that was pretty significant it would take people 15 minutes to get their dog in the car to go somewhere yeah. to get it fixed so well, this is, you know, we're doing it over the phone or over skype can you tell people how you can connect with them to help them with their pets sure um you can go on my website goodlifeenergyhealing.com uh, I'm on Facebook under the same name, and you can uh, click on book now, and you'll end up on my website, how to look at my website. I do offer 20-minute emotion code sessions, and then regular 45-minute sessions, body code and emotion code together. And then if you want to buy a package, that's available too. All you got to do is send me an email, and um, we can go from there. Okay, good stuff. Yeah, because people might have questions. If you do have a question, you know, even though we're live right now, we keep this uh, post on my face, my fan page for a long time. So you can continue to ask questions there or send uh, Jim uh, a direct question. So, oh, good. I'm glad we had you on today, Jim, because honestly, I didn't, um, I don't have pets, so I don't have the same, you know, passion and interest. Not that I don't like pets, but I didn't do the research you did. I didn't know about the chakras. I didn't know about the black ones. So, like the last time we had you on the show, you have made an immense contribution today. And my hunch is you're going to meet a lot of new furry pals. Yeah. <laughs> People want to have your help. Well, thank you, Michael. And really enjoy watching the Emotion Code Bros and your Hangouts, regular Hangout show. So, I'm thank a regular you. watcher. And thanks again for the invitation.
You're welcome. My pleasure. Thank you. And I'm getting ready to take a little seaplane home from Vancouver to Victoria. And the good news is it looks like the smoke is gone. You know, we're having serious fire fires, fire fires in Western Canada. And last week, the float planes weren't even flying. So I live on an island, not too bigger than Gilligan's Island. So <laughs> there's no road to get off. Uh, John, we had a blast today. Yeah, it was. It was, it was fun. We got, we got relief today. We got to sit back and watch and check out and say hello to all of our friends while Jim made such an important contribution today. We told people, uh, go to uh, hangoutwithmichael.com forward slash bros. And John, the address you gave correct is earlier. Uh, the address you gave earlier is correct. There's two routes to get to that page. So, uh, well, I sure hope so. I, yeah. And it's pinned on this uh, on the comments too. So okay. uh, hopefully it's right. And yeah, I'm at uh, aliveandpeer.com, and I just posted uh, my website in the comments as well, so you can find me there. Yeah. So you can, uh, we all have online calendars, so you can access our calendars and, you know, it's that easy. And you say, oh, I want this time slot and then uh, we can get you set up. We appreciate everybody that shared today's show. We know how important your pets are and the, the love for your pets. And uh, imagine the freedom of getting able to stay home and have somebody uh, fix these kind of challenges with your pet, particularly emotion kind of problems, you know, why they're doing, why the behaviors. And uh, give my friends Jim and John a shout out if you need their help. We had a lot of fun today. Thanks to everybody that giving us hashtags. And, you know, we do this because it's fun it's, uh, and it's helping our build our business. And that's what we're here. We're here to build our business. And so we can help as many people as possible. And to be able to help a pet owner is uh, pretty special because yeah. it costs a lot to have a pet and look after its health. So hopefully we're showing you some new alternatives uh, so you can sit at home and uh, let uh, Jim and John help you with your pets. Uh, so, John, we're going to get closing remarks from you, closing remarks from Jim, and then we're going to say goodbye. Go ahead, please. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, thanks, Buddha, for joining us today. Thanks, Leslie. Uh, I know Leslie's been watching loyally uh, probably yeah. all 13 now. But, yeah, this is oh. our 13th episode. And so we've got 12, and you can watch all the episodes on um, either Michael's page or, or my page as well. Well, I think I think Leslie should be getting a new name today because she is now she's now in the Hall of Fame with the Double Dippers. <laughs> yeah. Is she not uh, a Double Dipper? I don't. She, I'm not too sure, but I'd love to call her to? Leslie Buddha. Leslie Buddha, we can do that. <laughs> Leslie Buddha. And uh, thank you, John and Jim. How would you like to close out today? Yeah, just thank you very much for having me on the show. I really enjoyed this. Yeah. And uh, if people are curious about or if, if uh, I can help them with their, either them, their own issues or that those are their pets, usually what happens is people trust me to work on them. And then they say, okay, now I trust you. I'll get you to work on my pet. Wow. Because my pet's very special. Right? Yeah. So contact me goodlifeenergyhealing at gmail.com or goodlifeenergyhealing.com um, is the website. So um, I'm available, love to work on people, love to help people. So yeah, if I can help you, I'd love it. Okay, good stuff. Okay, we'll see you next week. Bring your snoring partner to next week's show and we're going to help. Let's say goodbye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.